back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on this eye look. It's super great for spring or summer. Honestly, you could even wear it to a festival. I think the colors are perfect. It's definitely giving me some mermaid vibes and I'm really into that. So if you guys want to see how I got this look, just keep on watching. So one of the palettes I'm going to be using today is the Colored Rain Queen of Hearts palette. It looks like this. This is honestly one of my favorite palettes. All the eyeshadows are super pigmented and creamy and super easy to blend. And the first shade I'm going to go in with as my transition shade is the shade Princess. It is this mauve pink shade right here. And I'm just taking that on a Morphe blending brush. And the next shade I'm going to use is the shade Ladyship. It is the super pretty purple color and I'm using that with the same brush. And I'm just putting that in the same spot I put my transition shade in a little bit lower in the crease. I'm kind of blending upwards into the princess color. I'm actually going to switch over to this Wet n Wild crease brush. Still using the same Ladyship color. I felt like that Morphe one was a little too stiff. Brush is a lot more soft on your eye. Where do I bring that pretty high up to the brow bone? Not right on it, but pretty close. I'm also going to bring this shade down a little bit into the outer V only down here and not anywhere on the rest of my lid. And to define the crease just a little bit, I'm going in with the shade... And to define the crease just a little bit, I'm going in with the shade Duchess, this warm brown shade. I'm dipping into Ladyship to put on top. And to brighten up the purple a little bit more, I am taking the Flaming Love palette from Makeup Addiction Cosmetics and I'm using the shade Savannah Desert. I'm just taking this on a fluffy sheer brush. Next, I'm going to cut my crease with my Tarte Shape Tape and a concealer brush. I'm just dotting this on. And to set my concealer, also from the Flaming Love palette, I'm using the shade Eden. And on top of that, I'm using this bluish teal certified glitter. I can't read the name without my glasses, so I will list it down below. Next, we're just going to do a wing liner and I'm using the NYX Matte Liquid Liner. And for lashes, I'm taking the Makeup Shack Eyelashes in the Style Mad Eye. Now that my lashes are on, I'm taking my Urban Decay Optical Illusion Primer. 
This is really good to fill in your pores and really smooth out your skin. And for foundation today, I'm taking my LA Girl HD Luminous Foundation. And to buff that in, I'm using an It Cosmetics Blurring Foundation Brush. This is the number 101. And for concealer, of course, I'm using my Tarte Shape Tape. And I'm using the same cosmetics brush. My concealer looks so light on camera, but I swear it's really not that light. To set my under eyes, I'm using my LA Girl Pro Setting Powder. To set the rest of my face, I'm using my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Powder. I really like this powder because it really brings back the color into your face. For bronzer, I'm going to use my Tarte bronzer from my contour palette. I'm going to use this bottom shade. I'm just using a NYX fan brush for this. What is that? Oh my god. Did my brush get into that really dark brown? Oh my god. Well, I'm gonna go try to fix this. And for blush, I'm just going to take the actual blush shade in this palette. And you guys should know by now that I'm setting my face with my Milani Make It Last setting spray. And for highlight, I'm using the Ofra Cosmetics highlighter in the shade Rodeo Drive. And I'm using April Techniques highlighting brush. And for my lips today, I'm using the Kat Von D liquid lipstick. This is a new shade and this is called Hawkind. look I actually really love how the eyes turned out I never do blue I hate 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 blue but I think this turned out pretty well because it's kind of like a tealy green color I honestly think the glitter looks amazing and the lip went perfectly with the eyes if you guys like more dramatic looks like these make sure you give me a thumbs up so I know and I can do more tutorials like this for you guys but thank you guys so much for watching it really means a lot to me make sure you subscribe before you leave if you haven't already and I will see you guys in my next video bye guys